Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee, it's freezing, it's like 18 degrees, woke up this morning, it was 32 degrees inside the tiny house, started a fire, it's well up over 40, approaching 50 now, so it is going to warm up into the 40s today, so that's a good thing, I'll be able to get some stuff done outdoors, um, I've been wanting to clear some brush now while it's, you know, kind of dead, and maybe gather some more wood. Um, I don't know. All I know is I don't want to go out and do chicken shorts because it's going to be so cold. I got two hoodies on. I can do it. Yes. I'll be there. What do you want to bet she's going to lay me an egg? <laughs> you crazy mama. You do you. Yep, she laid me an egg right there. You know what? I'm going to leave it there. Maybe this other crazy hen will want to lay there too. Certainly kind of looks that way. I'm just going to leave her alone. Nope, nobody else laid here. I'm going to go ahead and gather this in. And I don't know, maybe I'll put that other nest over here. I don't know, maybe I should just leave it the way that it is. I think it's going to be a brush clearing day. I want to try and get this part that is on my property just over here and by the mailbox and then down there over by the culvert and maybe in and out some of these other places. It'll just be easier to do it now than later, so what the heck. I tried to start filming again those puppies came up all the puppies in the neighborhood across the street next door down the street they are all up in my yard and just barking and driving me crazy and this never happens unless I'm trying to get stuff done so I got a little bit done I got down to about here and I started chipping away at this all of these vines they're harder to cut down than you think and it's hard to get to the base because the vine is all over the place so I'm not going to take down this entire corner. I just want to tidy it up a little bit. But at least I got the rest of the grass down along this whole culvert here. I just need to gather it up and either burn it or the stuff that doesn't have seeds, put it in the compost bin. And then I did get a little bit by my mailbox done. Ooh, look at that beautiful dandelion. It's a sign of spring. I got quite a bit of this right around the mailbox taken down um, and this that was kind of like going over this way every time I tried to get up underneath it here it would catch on my clothing so I don't want to take this all down 
because some really pretty wild plants grow here. Um, there's a wild clematis that grows here. There's passion fruit vine. There's goldenrod. So I got some of it down, but I really want to keep as much of a barrier, a natural barrier, um, between my property and the next property as possible. Um, so at least I got a little bit done. Basically, this was all the way over to here. And this was all the way over. So it'll make it a little bit easier getting in and out and taking this chain up and down. But my machete is getting dull, so I gotta go sharpen it and take a break and figure out something else to do. Oh my gosh, so she decided not to lay up there, but down here. That is funny. Yep, it's still warm. I had to come in. It's just so cold. It's it's. It doesn't even feel like it's 40 degrees. There's a slight breeze. But, uh, you know, I think I, I actually think I did break a rib because out there swinging that machete. Oh, see, even when I cough or do anything weird. Um, it hurts, and it started hurting me again today. So I think I overdid it a little bit, but who we got over there. Both the puppies, look at, just lounging on my bed. Oh, that's so funny. So, I haven't gotten any other work done today. Um, just trying to keep the chickens fed and the puppies fed and everybody happy. Um, all the puppies, you know, different dogs, went to, went back to their respective homes. So, that's good. Um, I don't know what else is going to happen for the rest of the day. Um, this is going to be the last cold day and then it's going to be up in the 50s and 60s for a while and then it's going to be March <laughs> and spring is right around the corner so I'm trying to think about what I'm going to plant. I'm going to resist the urge to plant too soon but I can still start kind of like you know just maybe starting some seeds indoors maybe. Um, there's an area over on this little table thing I got that gets sunlight in from the window so I think I might do that. Yeah, I think that might be something I can do. But I'm going to have to think carefully about what I'm going to plant. I'm not going to just plant a ton of stuff like I did the last two years because most of it didn't grow. Um, I need to just grow a few plants, nurture them well, and like I said before, just kind of expand after that once I get a few things nailed down really well. I do know I want to grow some more cayenne. Um, I want to plant some more peppermint. I don't know if that peppermint is going to come back because the puppies got in to the um, in the bucket and just kind of like ugh, those puppies. They also chewed up the beauty berry bush that's in that big black tub. So um, they didn't take it down to the ground. So I think it'll come back. Uh, so cayenne, I do want to grow tomatoes again because I love tomatoes. I do want to grow jalapeno peppers because I love them and I did pretty good with the jalapeno peppers. Um, do you want to grow green beans? And um, I'm going to have to think about what else. Because those are all the things that I eat regularly. And I have space for them. And, um, you know, I did. I had relative success with those. So, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I would like to be able to grow some more traditional lettuce. I mean, I've got wild lettuce growing all over the place. But... Um, maybe I can put some lettuce in and make it grow right now while it's kind of cool. So, who knows. Anyhow, um, I'm tired. I think I'm just tired of the cold. Remember how I said, oh, I can't wait for it to be cold. <laughs> well, I can't wait for it to, I, I can wait for it to get super hot, but at least I've got the air conditioner, so that's going to be good this year. It's going to be different. Um, but for heat this year, I have not had to use propane. I have not used propane one single time for heat this year, um, which is great because it's really expensive these days. The, the price has gone up. It's like almost doubled. Um, so I couldn't afford to burn a whole lot of propane. Uh, the wood burning stove has been working great. So there is light at the end of the tunnel, like I said yesterday, and it's going to be springtime soon. Um, it is. It is. I can feel it. I can feel it. That little dandelion gave me a glimmer of hope. <laughs> Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.